to use the freeform gradient in Illustrator, CC 2019. It's a new feature of CC 2019, and in particular I'm using the lines feature. Now, credit paths, once you've got a pass, go to the gradient panel, and then you've got linear, radial, and freeform. Just select that, and you'll see some points added there. So you can just go over there, move them around. Once you've done that, you can actually change that point into a line. So you can actually go from that point to another point and to another point, and you can add points as you go around. And obviously they all become part of a single line, as long as you're using that lines op option there. So you can just see a line there. Basically like using the curvature tool within a pass. So you just go around there. You can close it. You can keep it open if you wish. You can click on the document anywhere else and add another line as well. Just go around there and again, you can stop at that point if you want. You can change the color at any point for any of the points. So you can see you can create a whole range of different color designs there. Just click on that and change the color. You can also go over to the actual panel, the gradient panel, and there's stop, and you can change the color there as well. So you can, I say, you can see this lovely diffuse, sort of colorful design, very quickly created using this line feature. And you can also move the points as well as just change them. So you can actually select each of those points and then just drag it, move it around. You can also move the actual point along the line. So you can just select that and then just move it around. You can also delete the points. So if you not happy with the point, you just go to the little garbage can and delete it. Now, you can also go to the each line and change the opacity for the line, so you can make it 100% or 0%, make it transparent, as well as changing the spread, so you can make it... You can't go over the lines. You can see just then, where I'm just dragging the point, you can move it around, but if you say select one, well, it'll just hit that point and it won't go any further. So it just makes a sort of very sharp break at that point. But again, like I say, you can move them around very quick and easy there. Just, so you can change the colours very quickly, delete at point if you want, click on the line, just add points at particular places. If you click off the line, as long as you're within the path, it will just add another point. Right. So just going to create a circle there and go free again. And you can see you've got the points there. And again, just make sense it's a line. You go stretch out and click to another point. You don't have to click to the point. You can actually click anywhere else as well. You can still you can actually mix and match. You don't. You can just go around, leave a point as a point, have a line as well, and go around. Now, one thing you can do, of course, is create some nice, you know, like a C or something design there. Make the rest of the design sort of like black, and with the light sort of inner set there, you can go around. So I've just created another line. Of this there so you can make sort of all kinds of shapes within the shape using that just technique so right remove that draw another one and again go down to the grain tool click on there and just click there again just drag that around now once you've actually created the actual design and you've come out and gone to some other tool you can actually just go to that gradient panel and click the edit panel feature as well so you can just quickly go and re-edit it. It's a live feature, so they're all editable at any point. And you can go around numerous times with those lines, just and change the colour as you want, or change the colour later. You can also, like I say, add points as well. You don't have to actually, and you can cross over that line. It's not stopping you from crossing over. So you can just change the colour there, click there again, and it will take the, obviously the current colour. So it's pink there, and just click there, change the colour to green or something, and then click again, and it will continue with green. And you can go around creating all kinds of designs using this wonderful new freeform feature. Right, hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.